something else that may have been very evident to you while you were working is what's called polar tracking. Now you remember when we first started talking off about the line tool and we said oh, what we've got to do is we've got to specify our first point uh, and that first point for our line would be, oh, I don't know, um, 1000 tab 650. So there's our start point. Oh, that's slightly off the screen. Okay, fair enough. Um, yes, 1000 is actually off the screen. So if we move along a little bit there. And then we'd say, well, our next one is going to be 100 tab 0. Okay, well, that's fine. And we can carry on working like that. But it's not necessarily the quickest way. I could have carried on using something called my polar, my polar uh, snaps here. And you can see what's happening is I'm snapping. Every 90 degrees, I'm getting this extension line occur. Yeah? 90 degrees, 90 degrees. That obviously comes back on itself, but there's the extension line. So I could have quite easily just gone, oh, that's going to come up 100 tab, and then I'm going to push the cursor to the left. That's going to be 25, and then I'm going to push the cursor down, and that's going to be 50. Yeah, and then I'll stop doing that. And then I'll just do this again. So repeat line from snap to the end. Let's go up 100. Let's go across 25. And let's come down 50. Press enter. Job done. Okay, so that's 90 degree snap. If I want to change that, I'll right click on my polar tracking. And you see here, I can pick any angle that I want. I've got a 0, 5, 10, 50. 15 is quite useful, but it can get in the way. Um, 45 degrees, 30 degrees, again, that's quite useful. If I want to put my own uh, degree in there, my own angle in there, I'll say settings. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have additional angles, and I'm going to make a new angle, and that angle, just for the sake of argument, is going to be 35. Don't ask me why. But there you go, I've just done additional angles, new, 35. I'll OK that. And now when I right click on here, what we'll see is just underneath all the default angles, we'll see a 35 degree angle. So if I now want to create a line, and I click, there you go, as I rotate up round 11, 12, 15, 17, 18, 30, 35 degrees. So that is my line at 35 degrees off from this corner. Obviously, I'm probably going to want 45 because it's more useful. Um, but I'll pick that line there, and then we'll go off, and you see we've got our 45-degree angle. So 100 units at 45 degrees. We'll get rid of our 35-degree angle. All very simple, all very easy, and I can carry on drawing from the end of there. So that's really just polar tracking.